Hello everybody, we're going to talk about day three and day four of my self-challenge to make $200 a day profit selling online, mostly on eBay, but some things sell on Facebook Marketplace and other areas. In fact, I'm going to try to sell some, some magic cards today right here on YouTube at 25% under market, so hopefully those will sell. We'll, we'll hold those off to a little bit later. First, let's talk about what sold the past couple of days. Uh, past two days, I basically met my sales goals on eBay both days, getting $236 and $255. Now, all my inventory is completely paid for right now, so I've just got my shipping and eBay fees to worry about. So that basically both those days meet the $200 goal on their own, and I was able to upload upload yeah I'm gonna upload my money transfer two hundred dollars from PayPal to my bank account both days now let's look at what's interesting has sold over the past couple of days uh, I sold a ton of magic cards not very important nobody really cares ton of magic cards Pokemon cards uh, I sold a Bush Stadium scorecard I had been sitting I had two of these originally these took a long time to sell uh, nine ninety nine each, free shipping. I ship these stamp and envelope. The people who order this kind of stuff don't tend to uh, be trying to scam you for some free low value sports memorabilia. And the Cardinals is my local team, so it's very likely to be going in town. This one was. It was moving four whole miles from my house, and it's safer going through the first class mail system in a in a large manila envelope than it actually is being sent as a package where something heavy could get dropped on it and destroy it. Uh, sold a Aurora model kit for $18.99. The box was in terrible shape, which is why I didn't try to get more money for it. I got this at a garage sale for $10, along with a second model kit that I also paid $10 for. I got $25 for the second kit. And both ended up being cheaper to ship than I charged, so I did just fine on them. I'm only pointing out this trading card because these ASPCA trading cards are incredibly rare. I managed to get a hold of about 100 plus packs of them, and they've been slowly selling at $3.99 and up per card. As you can see, I've had four pugs and sold every single one of them for $4. Uh, sold a Grateful Dead card of Bob Weir. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I'm not a deadhead, so I'm not sure. Uh, this just shows that I think non-sports cards are good. Two ninety-nine. That probably came right out of some pack or another. I don't know. I don't even remember where I got it. Uh, sold a Jurassic Park card, ninety-three to ninety-four Jurassic Park Kenner Jungle Surprise. These are all valuable. Every single one of them is. I believe it's because they originally came with action figures inside the action figures. So action figure collectors really want these to fill out their sets. Similar Jurassic Park cards from other series at the same time are not nearly as valuable. Okay, I also had a few sales off of eBay in the last two days. Uh, the first one is pretty big, so let's go down to the basement and take a look at it. Okay, well, I'd already nicely filmed a big intro of all of this. Well, my wife did, but she never pressed the record button. So I walked around talking for a long time without actually recording any of it. So isn't that fun? So we're down in my basement because I sold a Play Choice 10 arcade game. I sold this one off eBay. This was not an eBay purchase. <clears throat> sold this for... $1,760 and I originally purchased it for $100 spent $200 on upgrades and sold the cartridges that came in it for $600 so this one's a massive profit the shippers are picking it up today just wanted to show it to all of you <clears throat> this is my basement packed full of merchandise way too much stuff that I need to get to and sell more video games my bar back there more merchandise more merchandise magic the gathering promo stuff <clears throat> moving into the sketching stairs 
since the <coughs> drywall and paint already looked bad in this hallway, we've let our daughter and her friends and everybody draw on it because it doesn't matter. Out here in the backyard, I've got it all opened up for the shippers to come get the game. And all right, that's it for now. Back to the rest of the video. Okay, it looks like we're back. You see, I sold that game. And my wife, uh, who helped a little bit with filming, wanted me to note that game was not a flip. I did not buy that for $100 yesterday. I bought that for $100 at a live auction nine years ago. That was the tail end of when there were still live arcade auctions. There were still places going out of business and emptying out their warehouses from the 80s or 90s. And you could still pick up Fixer Upper Arcade Games for $100. Those days are gone. You still might find something in somebody's basement, but the days of it being easy to get are gone. And play choices have appreciated in price more than just about any other game. Uh, the value of NES cartridges and Nintendo collecting has dragged them way up in price. It used to be that play choices and the versus cabinets, which were similar play choices, but they only had one game, those used to be considered junk. No, I mean, they'd sell for $100 to $200, completely working, great condition. People would really just consider them to be spare monitors for Donkey Kong machines because Nintendo cabinets used different monitors than other games did. And it wasn't until a bunch of people, many of which were actually too young to have grew up with the NES, started really pouring money into NES collecting that, that's, that those NES-based arcade hardware went through the roof. Uh, also, in the last, I sold some singles off of eBay over the last couple of days. We got Over, Overgrown Tomb, Sacred Foundry, Marsh Flats, Misty Rainforest, Stomping Ground, Steam Vents, and another Steam Vents. Uh, all of those went to uh, Chad, one of the big D boys. Uh, Foil Dam, damn. As you can see, Steve probably bought this for five. Furnace of Wrath. As you can see, Brian bought that. And Buddy Nate bought three Reforged of Souls from me. Those were all off of eBay. All right. Now let's get to the part that some of you are waiting for. I'm going to sell some Magic the Gathering cards here on YouTube at 25% below TCG market price. I checked the prices of all these cards and priced them right before making this video. So these prices should be accurate. Uh, if you want to buy these cards, yeah, email me at tigerofhappiness at gmail.com. That address is going to be in the comments. And I'll give you a PayPal, give you a PayPal address and total to pay, to pay for them. Uh, if the order is rather pricey, I'll probably also give you an eBay link to buy a 99 cent shipped card from me. On eBay, in order to get ship, in order to get tracked shipping, I can't track an envelope unless I sell something through eBay. But I have a listing that I keep on eBay just specifically for that purpose to get tracked envelopes that I otherwise couldn't. Let's look at the first card, Grinzo Havoc Raver. I'm gonna sell this for twenty dollars and eighty-one cents. Bedlam Seventh Edition, four dollars. Now, all these cards are in ni nice shape. None of these are wrecked. You don't have to worry about that. For Miri's Guile, $31.36. And yes, the prices are written on the sleeves. They are not written on the cards. Sylvan Library, $39.48. Mana Reflection, Original Shadow Moor, $9.21. Double your mana. Goblin Spymaster Commander 2016. Make some goblin tokens. Collective Voyage. Make everybody draw a bunch of lands. Courser of Crufix. You know you want to play with the top card of your library field. $2.31. Buried Alive. Mercadian Masks. Put three creature cards into your graveyard just so you can reanimate them later. Then shuffle your library. Herald of the Pantheon. 
Make your enchantments cheaper. Four dollars eighteen cents. Foil. I think this is etched foil. Old border. Titania protector of Argoth. Two dollars sixty eight cents. Modern Horizons two. Hondin of Life's Web. Make some spirit tokens for three dollars and twenty one cents. Jockle Hops, uh, Bury All Artifacts, Creatures, and Lands, Ice Age, $5.05. Hardened Scales, Good and Commander, and apparently Hardened Scales is a modern deck, $8.45. I have two Hanweir Garrisons at three and a quarter each. And finally, an Ad Nauseam, Shards of Alara. Nine dollars and twenty-four cents. All right, that's all the cards I have here for sale. Uh, these prices are good until the cards are gone, or for one week from now, so until the twenty-seventh. After that, I'm sure prices will have drifted, and anybody who wanted anything would have bought it by then. Guess I'm gonna shout out to both my subscribers and sign off now. Okay. Well, I'd already nicely filmed a big intro of all of this. Well, my wife did, but she never pressed the record button. So I walked around talking for a long time without actually recording any of it. So isn't that fun? So we're down in my basement because I sold a Play Choice 10 arcade game. I sold this one off eBay. This was not an eBay purchase. <coughs> Sold this for $1,760, and I originally purchased it for $100, spent $200 on upgrades, and sold the cartridges that came in it for $600. So this one's a massive profit. The shippers are picking it up today. Just wanted to show it to all of you. <clears throat> this is my basement packed full of merchandise way too much stuff that i need to get to and sell more video games it's my bar back there more merchandise more merchandise magic the gathering promo stuff <clears throat> moving into the sketching stairs since the <clears throat> drywall and paint already looked bad in this hallway we've let our daughter and her friends and everybody draw on it because it doesn't matter out here in the backyard I've got it all opened up for the shippers to come get the game and all right that's it for now back to the rest of the video